It is often said that the boss, executive, or perhaps the mind of the computer is the central processing unit, otherwise known as the CPU. This processor lives on the main circuit board of the computer, also known as the motherboard, and is composed of two parts. The ALU, the arithmetic logic unit, which is responsible for calculating math and logic, and also the control unit, which takes care of how data flows through the CPU. These two components of the CPU are responsible for three very important roles. Running programmed instructions, making calculations, and as any good executive needs to routinely do, decide on things. With all that in mind, we should consider how the CPU gets these three tasks done. This can be explained through what we sometimes call the machine cycle, but we'll refer to it by its more common name, the instruction cycle. There are four stages of this cycle, and we might remember them by memorizing the first letter of each and every step. F, D, E, and S. Firstly, the F stands for fetch. In the fetching stage, program instructions are gathered or retrieved from the computer's main memory. This is important because if the CPU doesn't gather any instructions to begin with, then it has none to work with. The D stands for decode. The control unit needs to successfully translate instructions into computer-ready commands so that they can be workable for the system. The E stands for execute. It's at this stage that the computer command we just mentioned is processed, specifically by the arithmetic logic unit. Finally, the S stands for store. The results of the cycle are, hopefully successfully, transferred, or written, back to memory for the sake of future usage. F, D, E, S. Fetch, decode, execute, store. Those are the four stages of the instruction cycle.